I'm Jeremiah Paul, reporting for Channel 2, here for the 35th annual Tortoise versus the Hare Raid. Now this is a great race, folks, and I cannot wait to see how many people are actually going to watch and bet on it. Now I'm going to, let's ask this young man who he's betting for. You know, I come to this here race every single year, and now I'm here to bet $35,000 on the Hare. You want to know why? Because he has never let me down before. Every single year, I come here, bet on the hair. I have all my supporters over here. They're betting on me to bet on the hair. He's not gonna let me down. All right, I'm here with some fans. So who do you guys think is gonna win, the tortoise the or the hair? hair? The hair! All right, well, you've heard it here, folks. Everybody seems to think the hair is gonna win. So let's go check out the race and see who's actually gonna win. All right, so I'm here with the hair. So how do you think you're going to do? Do you think you're going to win today? What color is the sky? Blue? Why does that matter? Exactly. We're going to win like I did for the past 20 years. Anything to say? Not really, no. Thought so. All right, see you out there. Well, that was unnecessary. Let's go interview the turtle, I guess. Talk slow. All right, so now let's interview the tortoise. So how do you feel about today's race and how have you prepared for today's race? Um, I feel pretty good about it. Um, I've been a lot of, done a lot of preparing. I've actually prepared my whole life for this race. Just going against the hair. Um, I feel pretty confident. I know he's gonna come out strong, but I'm just gonna take my time. So how do you feel about your competition? Um, I know the hair, he's been all jumpy today. So who knows what's gonna happen with him to be honest. So. If I just stay on my course, stay in lane one, I think I'm gonna come out on top at the end of the day. All right, sounds good. So let's get on to the race, folks. Ready, racers? On your marks. Get set, go. Tired already? Just take the interview.
So I'm here with the hair right now. So, and he left for some reason. Wait, so why the heck did you leave? What the, can you just tell me quickly why you left? Like, I'm very confused. We're all confused on what just happened. Is that all I'm really gonna get from this? Whatever, I'm, I'm done. You know, I saw the hare just completely abandon the race, and it's really nerve-wracking that I placed a lot of money on him, and he's just abandoned it. I don't know where he went. It's, I don't know, maybe I should have bet on the turtle, but he agreed to this race, and I had faith in him winning, and now there's no chance of me winning my bet. Breaking news, the hare is suddenly fighting the race official. He's gone off track and we have no clue what's going on. Help. Somebody, the hair, <laughs> the hair's chasing me. Oh hair, no, the hair's you're going, going backwards. The, the on, race hair. is that way. Go the hair, way. Stop. What are you doing? You're going to lose hair. this now. That way. Going, you need the to go that way. way. Hair. All right, so you're mid-race, so how are you feeling? I'm feeling tired, man. This is the most I've done in a while. All my preparation, it didn't mean anything. So we're just gonna keep going. Hopefully we win. So what are your thoughts on the hair so far? I mean, the hair has been causing a ruckus. He almost killed the race official, but that's good for me, I guess. Closer chance to winning. So uh, yeah, I'm really tired though. All right, so let's get back to the race. You're almost out of time, hurry. All right, it looks like the race is almost over. The tortoise is about to win. All this hard work has finally paid off. But oh no, the hare is about to cross. What the hell?